Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. I've got another digital multimeter. It's a clampon, so and it's a smart meter. I was up at my buddy's uh, cabin up in the mountains here in Utah, and we were updating his solar system, his power system. So I took this meter up there. Let's jump in this video and let's take a look. See what, see how it did. Hey guys, got a new smart meter. Let's take. A look at this thing all right there's a nice case it's got a pocket inside there keep your test aids in a belt loop and here's the meter it's a smart meter we got to put batteries in this to get it going now it came with leads and temperature probe a little strap for the meter i guess put it on a rest and there's box but you know what i don't see any batteries darn so didn't come with batteries. I don't know if I have any batteries up here at the cabin. So we'll have to test this at the house. All right, guys. So I just want to show you this meter here, the Zoe meter. It's a ZT QB9. Okay. Hold that button down for two seconds. Turns it on. Yeah. Hold down for two seconds. It turns it off. So it says power, two seconds. And there's a select mode. But you can leave an auto and it comes starts off at DC current and shows 0.56 amps. So let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and zero that out. Okay, let's go ahead and see what current. And I'm gonna hit the hold button here. I love how they put the hold buttons on the thumb here so you can easily push that when you can't see what you're doing. Okay, we're still charging about 9.46 amps. That's pretty nice. Okay, now um, there's also, if you hold this button down on the side, it'll turn on the backlight, but it also turns on a flashlight. So when you're trying to get in and see what you're doing inside here, you can see that better. So that's a nice touch. Nice meter. Um, now here, let's just go ahead and turn off the auto. I'll turn off relative and let's go through the select menu. True R is just as AC current. True RMS, uh, DC current, so it just goes back and forth. And then I guess once you put the probes in here, then you have options for voltages, okay? Reads capacitance up to 60 millifarads, it says, and temperature. So yeah, it comes with the temperature probes and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, this is a nice little meter. I, I like the easeability. You know, I think the meter that I left with my buddy up at the cabin, I might swap them out for this because I think this would be easier for, you know, someone who is more of a businessman, non-technical. I think this would be a lot easier to use. Hey, you know what? It has a NCV too. Let's see how that works. Okay, there's Hertz. So we go back and forth. When you're on AC, it goes back and forth on that. Let's see if I hold it down. Okay, there's EF. Okay, EF. Okay, we get a little red flashing light. I was just wondering if it'd go off if it's near one of these things. Let me hold the power cord up. There's a red light, and you get four, you get all four bars across there. So, yeah. Let's go to this uh, DC plug. Okay, that's good too. Still the red light, red BP light, and all four bars. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, that's really handy for someone, you know, you just want to check if it doesn't go off, don't think there's no voltage there, but if it does go off, then you know there's voltage there. So that's the way you kind of want to use them is just kind of a safety check before you go in, but also not to count on there not being any voltage, you know, because there could be and then that'd be bad. So these things aren't fail proof, you know, the, I mean, they work on proximity and stuff like that and voltage levels and also the angle sometimes. Uh, but I think it shows the little things. I think this is the detector up here. So, yeah, nice little meter. Now, you know what? I just thought we'd compare it to this guy. Let's go to 30 amp range, uh, zeroed out. 
And on this one, I have to come over here and hit the hold. It's kind of the older style, I think. Uh, 10.28, it says. Okay, so this one's showing a little bit higher current. Now, that's a pretty old meter, but I I always kind of trusted it. But, you know, then again, I don't know if I've compared it. So let's go check this out again. It's on AC. I wonder if it'll switch to DC. 9.63. So that one's showing uh, a little more current. You know what? Let's get somebody to break the tie. All right, guys. I got my trusty Hyoki here. And see these jaws are made for reaching into places like that. And the hold button's on the face of this one as well. 10.2 uh, amps. Wow. Okay. So, you know what? Let's try one more meter. Now, I have a fluke. And let's see. Should I zero that out? And... Come in, buttons on the side, 10.1 amps. Wow, okay. We're gonna come back. All right, we're gonna come back in with this guy again. Let's go back to that relative. Nine point five five. You know what, I wanna try something. Let's not use the relative. It's maybe, you know what? Let's just not use relative. I don't know. I mean, it's not, it doesn't say relative. It's just, it doesn't say zero. It says relative, but usually that's, you can use it the same way, I think. But here, let's go in here. All right, 10.2. So now it agrees with the other meters. So, you know what? Maybe leave it off relative and and you'll just you know we'll have to try to read something low current to see if it resets that 0.5 amps yeah 0.59 so i don't know but leaving that there reads correct you know i i love that they brought back the cases right and it's funny the lower cost meters come with cases crazy uh but anyway it's a good trend. Keep it coming. Because we can keep our temperature probe, our leads, and our, even our manual. And keep the thing nice and clean. And keep the display from getting all scratched up. Which I haven't even taken off the little thing yet. <laughs> I need to do that, right? Oh, you know, it's kind of cool. Right here on the meter itself, in case you don't have your manual, which you can keep in your little handy you know, bag here. But it says voltage is up to 600 volts, ohms up to 60 mega ohms. It says zero to 50 ohms is a continuity check. So under 50 ohms, you get that little continuity. Some people think it means short, but it, a lot of meters, it's under like 20, 30 ohms, 50 ohms. This is 50 ohms. So it has a diode capacitance up to 60 millifarads. Holy cow. I didn't test that. And does uh, temperature as well and hertz up to 10 megahertz. So a lot of features in this. The NCV, non-contact voltage, a lot of features. So, um, yeah, I like this. It has a little light on it where you push it down, and then it lights up the jaws here. So when you're reaching into a panel, you can see what you're doing. Uh, it's safer because you're not putting current to the meter. You're going around the clamp, so that's really cool. It does inrush uh, current, and it does uh, voltage. So peak voltages, so it captures those things. Has a not NCV, the non-contact voltage, you know, sensing function. So pretty cool. I mean, a lot of stuff in this little smart meter. And, you know, it has two little buttons, so it makes it easier. You know, I, I kind of showed my buddy on another Zoe meter uh, how to use it. And so I didn't want to confuse him by showing him a smart meter. But this would have been the easier one. So if you have a father-in-law, somebody who doesn't do a lot of readings and you want to keep them safe, just clamping on things, maybe going out, you know, in your car, battery cable or something like that, then, you know, this guy, the clamp-ons are just safer, right? So pretty nice. I've been happy with this thing so far. Haven't used it a lot, just up there in the cabin. 
but seems seems to be working really well. And what do you guys think? So let me know. Uh, big thumbs up, Zoe, for sending this out to me. If you want to use the links down below, it's a free way to support the channel. It doesn't cost anything extra. I appreciate it. I need to buy some more resistors for this amplifier setup that I'm doing. So it helps for things like that. Every little bit helps, right? So it has a little wrist uh, band thing. It's a clip on here, so you can just clip it off if you don't want it hanging there. But yeah. I'm kind of impressed with these low-cost meters and what they're offering these days. Pretty cool. It's under 40 bucks. I want to say it's like 37 bucks or something like that. Maybe $35. But it might be hard to find right now because it's still pretty new on the market, I believe. So, not sure. But anyway, uh, I'll put links down below where you can find it, okay? All right, hey guys, thanks for watching.